Yeah. You know what? Probably in winter transfer window he's gonna leave them again, go to United for 120 million. United gonna sign out there for 120 million in January. I'm gonna go for West Ham. I've got a feeling they could be pushing sort of top eight, top seven next season. Okay, Dan's almost as stupid as you are. <laughs> Hi guys, the end of the Premier League season is finally upon us, a little bit later than expected. It's been almost a year since we made some predictions. So myself and Nico are here to look through it. Wait, this is not the Sebastian Alea appreciation no. video? <laughs> well, this definitely is. I've seen some of these predictions. Anyway, us in the newsroom went through it, so let's take a look. Man City. Yeah, too good. Manchester City, again, I don't think anybody has the ability to catch them. You know what, I'm going with Liverpool. For the third year running, the champions of the Premier League will be Manchester City. I'm, I'm going to say Aston Villa. Oh, oh sorry, I'm in. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this film definitely didn't get what's going on. I mean, the fact that you got this right is impressive. Well, I mean... I, you're, just, you're just a young club kind of guy. I, well, <laughs> I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying... Yeah, one you got it one. right. I, I also think... love that Dan was really confident about City winning. Get away, yeah. yeah. The 15th year in a row. In a row. Mm -hmm. That's nope. what you get. That's what you get. But at least you can play Champions League for no yeah. reason. <laughs> the Premier League winners. Oh, the Premier League winners. Hold on, what were you doing? No, I was just doing like a... I, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, it was the same one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to go City again, Manchester City. To be fair, I think there's no shame in that. No. No, it isn't. They went two in a row. You kind of assume that with their squad, they'd win three in a row. And like nobody, like as good as Liverpool was the year prior, yeah. nobody could have expected them to be like this power. Yeah, it was only going to be one of them two or Aston Villa. <laughs> to I'm Phil. just happy that there are no Liverpool fans in the, uh, right, at that point, there were no yeah. Liverpool fans in the newsroom, so exactly. I got all the credit. Right, let's get on with the top four. This is going to be embarrassing. Mm. Hold on. I'm just going to sneeze. No. Top four, City, Liverpool, Tottenham and Arsenal. I'm going to break in again. I think the top four is going to be City, Liverpool, Tottenham, and this year, Arsenal. Liverpool, City, Tottenham, and, you know, let's, let's go with Arsenal. Good front line. Man City first, Liverpool second, Spurs third, Arsenal fourth. Top four will be Manchester City, Liverpool, Tottenham, and Arsenal. Okay. <laughs> what, like, everybody, the same it, it's prediction. It's horrible. <laughs> Oh. It's so horrible. <laughs> I mean, no one was ever going to pick City or Liverpool out of the top two. Mm. We all so we only, had, we only had two <sighs> left and we fucked them up completely. Every time. I feel like at that point, Spurs had reached the Champions League final, had finished in the top four and had made some good signings. It's so amazing how, how bad of How season. trash it's gone. Ooh. But that's, uh, that's good reason to put Spurs in. Mm. The Arsenal one. So is this a point where I say, I'm German, I don't know anything about English football, or, yeah. or does it get so much No, worse? because we've all said the same as you, so in fact, you're like 1-0 up on the rest of so us. So I'll keep that excuse for later. Okay. okay. Right, let's take a look at the relegated ones. All three promoted sides. Villa have done a ridiculous window, spending over 100 million like Fulham did last year, and Norwich and Sheffield United have signed not Premier League quality players. And I'm sticking by this. I know I rinsed them, but Sheffield United, man for man, do not have a real high Premier League quality team. Yes, they're fighting for the top six. Yes, they are. Also, but they don't. They're like the sum of all parts. They're good collectively, but individually, there's no way you'd look at them and be like, oh yeah, definitely Prem quality. Nobody could have expected them to, to play the way they did. Like that's just... Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's just outrageous. And, and, and if you play that season 10 times, they probably will never... Like one out of these 10 times, they will reach it. Okay. I'd be amazed if any of them stayed up. Also Brighton. Brighton are in a bit of a scrap. Newcastle are gone. I think Burnley. I think time's, time's up for Burnley and Sheffield United won't have enough to stay up. Be Brighton, Newcastle and Norwich. Palace are in trouble. Crystal Palace. I think one of the promoted sides will go down and that's going to be Sheffield United. And I cringe every time someone says Sheffield United now. I feel so bad. Yeah. Fuck it, who was to know? No. no who was like, gonna know? Look, After... That's why we're standing here. Yeah. Now, because look, you can't win a video like this if you look back at it a year later. Why are we even doing it? <laughs> well, I don't know. You, you said <laughs> yeah. I have to. The, the thing is, as a promoted team, you're never gonna expect it. No. End of. That is right. Sheffield, Norwich, and Brighton. Goodbye, guys. It was a pleasure to have you here. Okay. <sighs> so, all right. <laughs> The, the next section is called Best Signing and Sebastian Alea is under the... Yeah. You, I was a big fan too. Mm -hmm. I still am. <laughs> You'd have him back at Frankfurt. Yes, please. 
Um, best signing of the season? Sebastian Allaire. Straight up from Frankfurt. He's going to be, you know what? Probably in winter transfer window, he's going to leave them again, go to United for 120 million. <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting a bit of a stomach pain. United here. is going to sign Allaire for 120 million in January. And why? This is like. Like, you didn't ask for that. You I didn't know. ask for a you, ridiculous you, prediction that what could happen in the winter. Just, you're doing it to yourself at this point. Uh, Sebastian Allaire for West Ham. I think Undombele is a good signing and Rodri, but Allaire is made for the Premier League. Okay, two out of those two are pretty crap, so that's a Allaire black mark still against mine then. Premier League, man, it's just a shitty team, sorry. Yeah, league, and I think he's going to do really well. Best signing for me is Yuri Tielemans at Leicester. I think 40 million for him is an absolute steal, and I can't believe no one else was in for him, to be honest. I think he's a cracking player. Tangi and Dombele for Tottenham. A decent fee, and he, he can only grow really under Pochettino, so. I think that, that could be a, a really promising signing for Spurs. Um, that must have hurt. The fact that Ndombele is not what everyone thought he would be and that Pochettino is not there is a nightmare. <laughs> like, <laughs> damn you, Phil. <laughs> Fortunately, Tango and Ndombele is, I think he's going to be absolute. That's two Arsenal fans mm -hmm. who went for Ndombele. Be brilliant at Spurs who desperately needed to sign a midfielder. Okay, let's Worst move signing. on. Worst signing. <laughs> Wesley at Aston Villa. I don't think he'll be terrible, but for £22 million, he's not going to be scoring enough goals. I've got a feeling Che Adams at Southampton is going to struggle with the step up from the Championship to the Premier League. I can see him being another sort of Cameron Jerome type player. Probably Mateo Kovacic. He did a fine job last year, um, but I think £50 million is a lot of money for, for someone who doesn't really contribute at all in, in the final third. Um, I mean, he's a, he's a nice player, but I think Honestly, Barkley and Mason Mount can do what he does. Tyron Mings is a bit shocking at Villa. Uh, Tyron Mings got an England cap and he's been really good. <laughs> I would take him at Spurs any day. Oh. Um, he's good for them, I'm just not sure he's 22 million's worth. Ravel Morrison at Sheffield United. He just keeps getting given chance after. Oh. Is he still there? Ravel I, Morrison? He might have been. I think he is, but he doesn't play. Right. Okay. Well, that, yeah, that, that was okay. Yeah, I, I, I get call, a point. Hey. <laughs> 10 points for me. The chance and just proving to be too much to handle, so yeah. Even though he's on a free. I'm going with Mr. Tyrone Minks. I just think... Wait, hold on, you went with Minks as well. <laughs> I can just hope I that forgot I... forgot this. I just hope that I shot after you and I just took yeah. it from you. Yeah, you, I think you did actually. That paying like, what did I pay? 22, 23 in the Euros? For a 26-year-old, that is it's decent, it's just a lot. So next up, let's let's go straight into the top goal scorer. I'm so biased here, I know it. I don't even care. Sergio Aguero. I think with the firepower that City have, but Aguero is the man that's on the end of almost everything, so I think he'll outscore everybody this year. Sergio Aguero will be top scorer. Top scorer, Harry Kane. The familiar faces are going to be there. Kane, Aguero, Salah. Any one of those three. I'll go for Harry Kane, why not? Mo Salah. Third year in a row, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I, honestly, I forgot to take into account Kane's injuries. Kane's injuries. Every season. Yes, exactly. I have no explanation for what I did. And Aguero, I mean, honestly, yeah. decent season. Yeah, exactly. Like, no one said Vardy. Yeah. We suck. Right, surprise package. I think I'm going with West Ham again here. Uh, they spent quite some money and I think they'll do fine. I think the surprise has to come from a team that's going to break into the top six. So I've mentioned Wolves and Leicester being good. I'm going to say Wolves, although it's not too much of a surprise, but breaking into the top six is massive. So I'm going to say Wolves. That was so close. You were on, this, on the right track. The, mm. the, the thing is, they were already kind of good, Wolves. Yeah. So I, it's not a huge surprise. But with you could them have gone with Leicester and it would have been even... Yeah, yeah, true. Look, I, I'm going to say good knowledge. How did you like my pick? Of West Ham. Mm -hmm. Well, you were backing, you were banking on Allaire to be great, so both him and West Ham just. The thing though is, everybody is to blame besides Allaire. Yeah. <laughs> Wolves. I'm going to go with Southampton to be the surprise of the season. I think under Ralph Hasenhutl, they improved a lot when he came in last year, and now he's had a full pre season, so I expect some big things from them. I'm going to go for West Ham. I've got a feeling they could be pushing sort of. Okay, Dan's almost as stupid as you are. <laughs> top eight, top seven next season. I don't really know if they can be a surprise, but I think Leicester will be, a lot of them, a lot of people were pointing at them to be a top six challenger, but I think they'll be a top four challenger. Uh, I really 
Damn. Phil making Damn. big calls. That was probably the best call of yeah, the yeah, time yeah. so far. Shout out to Phil yeah, with the one football shit. newsroom. That's okay, going to be one to watch. This yeah. is definitely an interesting one. Oh, please don't um, tell me. The I final said category. Jonathan. You probably, I, I probably said John Linton. You put it in my head. This is the problem. I didn't yeah. like Alaire until I met ah, you. This, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault that your league is so weird. <laughs> yeah. Phil Foden at Man City. Foden's a baller. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have known that before the season. And if you don't know, you do now. It's basically exactly what I did last season with Kai Havertz. Yeah. Everybody should have known. I said Havertz and I won it. I think one to watch this year is Christian Pulisic. He's come over for a big fee from Dortmund and Chelsea have lost Eden Hazard, so he has to deliver. One to watch will be Sebastian Allaire at West Ham. I think they've got a boom. There we go. Dude, but I'm, I'm like. Someone's till, dropping Allaire bombs. Still, still today, man. Yeah. Like, he could have made it. Like, if he was in a better team. Yeah. A really good striker there, and I think he'll, he's perfect for the Premier League. I'll go for Dan James, Daniel James. I think, you know, it's always not easy coming from the championship straight to a side like Manchester United, but he looked good in pre-season. Um, I'm taking a play and I'm taking Joel Linton. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> <laughs> like the two Bundesliga strikers who came over for a combined fee of 85 million <laughs> and have like seven goals between them. Um, oh, dude. Phil's actually spot on again with this Dan James one. Joel Linton. Because he was crazy expensive and he scored seven goals in his only Bundesliga season, but I really liked him. Cool. Cheers. What did I do? Oh, man. Okay, well, there were some ridiculous predictions there. There were also some ridiculous predictions in the comments. So you guys didn't get everything right either. Anyway, that is all from us and obviously for this Premier League season as well. I think we should do this again. We'll yes. do more predictions. We'll do more predictions for next season, then we'll review them a year after. And, and don't forget, again. the only prediction that actually counts is who wins it all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just your one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.